I'm fine. And you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm so fine. Very good. Very good. This is the library that we're building here in the village. This is the health clinic. These are the children. Everybody say hello. Hello. I think the line is solo is in order to have love, you got to give love. In order to give love, you got to have it. Like that's like an oxymoron, right? Like how can you give something that you need to have but you can't have it unless you give it? Like I just believe you really gotta, like in this life, the real goal is to be able to offer something to this world that makes it better. So this library is happening with books, a children's area, a health post to provide basic medical and health awareness, and we need your help. We need your support. We have columns, we got a roof, we got a building, we got windows, we need paint, we need chairs, we got fans inside, I'm gonna take y'all inside. We're really asking y'all, you know, whatever you can give, if you can give $10 or $25, or a hundred dollars, or a thousand dollars, it doesn't matter. We just really appreciate all the effort. And so a library is so important, you all know that. My parents were my first librarians. I grew up in the Brooklyn Public Library. I grew up in the Chesapeake, Virginia Public Library. I grew up in the Fayetteville Public Library. I grew up in libraries, and they helped me imagine a better world. I found myself in these books, John Steptoe and Virginia Hamilton and Mildred Taylor and these books helped me become who I am today hopefully the coolest poet on the planet yeah so how do I tie all this into to what we're doing so these kids walk into school people walk into work people walking along this mile three mile trek that we're still on by the way we've been in a car so it would be us to try to do something to offer some resources to match the work the hope, the good, in the folks here. So that's really what we're doing. So this is the library, y'all. We're painting the ceiling. You see we got fans all around. What you saying? We got the brothers over here working, trying to make it happen. Um, we got these beautiful windows with the screens. So here's what I envision. I envision that there's a children's area over here with bookcases and children's books by people like Jacqueline Woodson and Dan Santac. I envision that there's carpet all throughout. Look at the floor. I envision there's carpet, you know, nice little comfortable seating for children. I envision this is books for adults, um, uh, tables and chairs with laptops. I envision that this area behind us is our health post, it's our health clinic, uh, where people are provided basic health education. All this can't happen without your help. I really appreciate it. The LEAP team appreciates it. The Queen Mother appreciates it. And all the children appreciate it. Everybody say thank you. Thank you. We appreciate your support. You can donate below. Just hit that button. We appreciate it. We love you. Madasi. Oh.